Hi and welcome back. So let's move on to foreign loop. Now the foreign loop will iterate over enumerable properties of an object. So let's say we have an object, you remember, we created objects. Let's say we have a literal object. So if we have an object, maybe it's an object with just one property. So we say that that's the name of the property. And then that is a value. So this is a name. Or a key. And then this, this is a value of the property. So we talked about something relating to this when we were looking at object literals. So when we're dealing with the foreign loop, it will iterate over the object property. So this entire thing is a property, the key and the value that will form a property. And if we have something else down here, it will also be a property. We're going to see an example in a little while. So the foreign will iterate over the properties and it iterates over enumerable properties. So by default, when you create properties, everything you create will be enumerable. So that's basically, in simple terms, countable. When you're creating properties, you can make them enumerable. If you're going deeper into creating object properties, then you can make them enumerable or non-enumerable. But in most cases, the properties you create by default will always be enumerable and therefore you can use a foreign loop with them. And one thing to note when you're iterating over properties in an object, if you use a foreign loop, it will always bring back the name. So it brings back the name. It will not bring back the value. So we are going to see an example of this and exactly what I mean when I say that if you iterate with the foreign loop, it will bring back the name and not the value. It will bring back the name, not the value, not the value. And the name is also the key, which is this one. We're going to see an example in a little while. So basically in the next video, that's what we're going to do. An example of a foreign loop. In this video, we have said that a foreign loop is used to iterate over enumerable properties of an object. And if you use the foreign loop, it brings back the name and not the value. So in the next video, let's look at an example to see exactly what we mean by this.